Good morning on this beautiful, beautiful, cool feeling July 26th. I'm going to just take a quick walk around, try to go a little bit slow on some of these. Got some really, really nice lilies going here, some big, tall orange to Henry I hybrids. And we have, this is Black Beauty, just starting to open up in about three four different places around the garden. They are spectacular. And the Henry I line is one of the roots of black beauty. I walk down along my new little stone wall here and get some of the big tall spidery looking daylilies, the trumpets up here. Those are up pretty high from where I'm standing. The trumpets are pretty well fading out. We've got a few left here that are still blooming a bit. This is a little hemorrhage trumpet hybrid called Henry the 14th. I'm not sure why that is, but that is the name of it. These are those beautiful, beautiful daylilies. And their name is Pink Cotton Candy. Walk around behind up through here if I can do it without tripping and bumping my head. Some more daylilies here in my shadow. More lilies. More black beauty. Just tumbling off the place. This is the scene as you walk into the backyard. Lots of tall lilies in bloom right now. More, more of the of the Henry I family. This is just spectacular the way that Black Beauty shows up. Part of the Henry I family also here. This is Leslie Woodruff. Last week I had the pleasure of being with Dr. Robert Griesbach over in Wisconsin, who is the guy who was responsible for hybridizing this lily and that is white henry eye gorgeous lily back here is are some more white henry eye and more henry eye blooming these are starting to be i guess they're still looking pretty good this is a wonderful little lily called starburst sensation and uh, I was also, on two weeks ago, when we were at the Lily Show over in Burlington, Ontario, I was able to spend a little time talking to Dr. W Wilbert Ronald, who is the creator of Starburst Sensation, and also this lovely, lovely, lovely Conquador, big, beautiful, golden lily and very fragrant and we got this is a little thing called Sarabond and that is Scheherazade and then way up tall over here is Amor Henrii. These are literally I cannot reach the top of these of this stem. It is about three inches above the top of my of my reach as I look up and see those blossoms that are going to be blooming over the next several weeks. The back end of Scheherazade. Scheherazade has this nice little bit of a golden touch to the uh, to the edges of the petals. See some conchador showing through there. Up here is a very tall yellow form of Henry I. And uh, in the back, that sort of a light white one there, lighter colored one is a lily that is created by another friend of mine, Charlie Krull, who over here in Troy, who named it after a good friend of his, Eddie Sterley, who I also know lives here in the Detroit area. Here's some more very, very nice. Black Beauty. These are 
larger forms of a larger form of the one that we saw up front. But the uh, pretty spectacular to see them, and so uh, kind of walk around. I missed pointing out also this other beautiful lily here. It's called this. Silk Road, or it's also known as Northern Carillon, and this was also created by Dr. Wilbert Ronald, fine guy from up in Manitoba, who has been a very active member of the Lily Societies for years, and was at the uh, Lily Show up there in in uh, Burlington, Ontario last two weeks ago. There are a couple of very nice oriental lilies and I will close with just a little shot here looking down the line into the sun. A beautiful morning. Thank you for watching and enjoy your gardens. Thank you. Goodbye.